heavyweight championship fight between Francis Ngannou and John Jones. For a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. What a title reign it has been, but a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. for this heavyweight championship fight. Both fighters are 33. Ngannou weighed in at 250 pounds. Jones will have a one inch reach advantage. All right, to get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Levin. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. It's a juicy place. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a look see do fighter. Only a professional record of 26 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 225 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, presenting the challenger, John Bones. John! And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, three losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, ladies and gentlemen, presenting a reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Francis, the Predator, and God! You have seatbelt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. Big time fight. 
it feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big-time athletes? Oh, and he connects with a the punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And so, oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Big head kick. can one man absorb before getting separated from his consciousness? One, normally, <laughs> this guy has a great chin, but if he takes any more, he's gonna be sleeping. Punch over the top. Oh, that is a huge left hook for Francis Ngannou. Somehow, some way, his opponent still stands. I mean, I, I, this guy's chin is made of... Oh! What a fantastic strike at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. And now he's got the right off the gut. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Francis and Gotti. His misses are entertaining. Ngannou gets hit by that leg kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Ooh! He needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's gonna start looking to land big shots from the top. He has a commitment to kick it tonight oh. and show. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh! Back to the feet. Oh! oh. Whoa, how about that? He lands a huge kick. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. Well, let's re the highlight now, DC, and he's certainly going to enjoy watching this one back. The head kick was there early, it was there often, and ultimately ended the night for his opponent. He found a weakness in his opponent's game. The left kick, over and over, he was able to land it. And he was landing the strikes, too, with his hands, but ultimately it was the kick that was hidden behind the punch that finished the fight for him. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 45 seconds of the very first round. Playing the winner.